how many of you are planning to read Salatul Taraweeh in Ramadan? Please put up your hand. If you are planning to do Taraweeh in Ramadan, you, you want to read a few extra rakaat, put up your hand high. I want to see it, please. MashaAllah. The reason why I made you put up your hand is so that your hand bears witness for you that yes, I have a good intention and inshallah I will do it. If you die before this, if you die before Ramadan, at least your intention is loud and clear. I was planning to read Salatul Taraweeh. So if you are planning to do Taraweeh and right now you don't even read your Farad Salah, you won't be able to achieve goodness in Taraweeh. I don't know about Singapore, but I know about my country and many other countries. People are looking for the fastest Taraweeh. Ferrari, you know, quick Taraweeh, speedy, because they are not used to reading Salah. If the Imam takes a little bit longer in Salah, they really feel that this is very long and I don't want to go back here tomorrow. Really, that's how it is. The reason why I don't want to go is because the Imam is saying, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din I can't stand that, it's too slow for Taraweeh. Everyone is laughing because maybe they might be thinking, hey, that is very slow, man. <laughs> they want Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din, right? That is correct recitation, but my brother, the one which has a calmness and a coolness, correct recitation, which is, I'm not saying so slow, but which is clear, you can follow it, and it is not a rush, that is what you should be searching for. You will only be able to search for correct recitation if you are bothered about the Quran. So start making yourself bothered about it now. That is the book that will take you into Jannah. It will take you into paradise. Al Quran hujjatul laka aw alayk. The hadith says this Quran will bear witness for you or against you on the day of judgment. So none of us want the Quran to bear witness against us that you know this person did not want to listen to me unless I was recited in a rush. This person did not want to read me at all. Although I was in their phones, although I was with them wherever they went. What a great insult. Whereas if you want to go to Jannah, at least open your app. How many times do we open WhatsApp and, and WeChat and so many other things a day? And all these new uh, links that we have. We open it so many times, Facebook and Twitter, and we refresh it to see who messaged me and who didn't. But the messages from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are also in the same phone. Do you know that? How many times do you see those? How many times do you listen? If I sent you a joke on WhatsApp or on, on your phone, somehow, you would want to listen to it because it's a joke. It's going to make you laugh at the end of the day. But if I send you a verse of the Quran, you might say, you know what? So gloomy, so doomy. You just listen to the, the, the Imam starting and you switch it off and say, I, I shouldn't even have downloaded it. It wasted my, my uh, internet. It wasted the space in my phone and it took away my gigabytes. I'm paying for the service data. That should not be the attitude of a Muslim. We ask Allah to forgive us. That should never be the attitude of a Muslim. You need to develop a link with the Quran so that the Quran takes you into Jannah. You need to learn to read the Quran and its meaning so that it takes you into Jannah because it is the word of the owner of Jannah. That's the reason. It is the word of the owner of Jannah. And I've given the young people an example that you know what? If someone you really love sends you a message, no matter how long it is, you want to read it. Why? Because you really love them really love them. What about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He sent you the whole Quran. You don't just read it in the month of Ramadan. Start now. Start today. Pick up the Quran and read one verse every day. Is it too much? Is it too much? One verse, not more than one verse. One verse every day. Today, you read Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Tomorrow you can read Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. No problem. The next day you can read Maliki Yawm al -Din. This is the minimum, minimum. You must be thinking that's too little, isn't it? You must be thinking I can read the whole of Surah Al-Fatiha. Read it with its meaning one verse a day at least, minimum. Put a marker. Wallahi, there will come a day 
when that Quran will bear witness for you because the hadith says, Innama al a'malu bin niyat wa innama li kulli mri'im ma nawa. All actions are judged by their underlying intentions. And every person shall be rewarded according to their intention. So if your intention was to complete the Quran and you were reading one verse a day and you die after having read perhaps one chapter out of 114 chapters, you will still be rewarded as though you read the entire Quran because of the consistency, the dedication and the intention. You follow? The consistency, the dedication and the intention. So we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us. We need to start somewhere, start today. We don't have a guarantee that we are going to live up to the month of Ramadan. 